So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click onto any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick silver on my channel. So, I'm going to do my prediction video for the Andre Ward, Sergei Kovalev um, rematch this Saturday night. I'm going to do it early because I'm going away for a couple of days and I won't be able to do it later on in the week. So, I'm going to do it now. So... The first fight obviously caused a lot of controversy because the first fight, don't get it twisted, people weren't really hyping it up or anything like that. It was a fight that really just came along and when it did came along we sat down and we watched it and we saw Andre Ward win the fight by a single point on three judges scorecards and that's when it opened the can of worms, that's when people started to go mad about the fight, started to say Kurgai Kovalev was robbed. So many mixed opinions, so many people saying that Andre Ward won it by a round or two and people saying that Sergei Kovalev nicked it and people saying that Sergei Kovalev won it by a wide margin people saying that Andre Ward won it by a wide margin I didn't see either fighter win this fight by a wide margin, don't get me wrong it could have gone a round or two either way but no one was robbed in this fight, Sergei Kovalev wasn't robbed it was a very close fight with very close competitive rounds that you could make a case for both fighters and um, a lot of the rounds are open to interpretation in my opinion as well and we all know the first fight Sergei Kovalev came out strong with a hard jab basically trying to get Andre Ward out of there trying to hurt Andre Ward and get him out of there and it looked like it could happen in the second round when he dropped Andre Ward only the second time Andre Ward has ever been dropped in his whole career he was dropped early on by Darnell Boone um, a high level journeyman at super middleweight and yeah for a few rounds Sergei Kovalev was really getting on top and it took Andre Ward a couple of rounds to really adjust well it took him a few rounds to adjust because it got to about the fifth round where Andre Ward started having success and started getting into the fight he started doing his own work a lot of people saying oh, but Andre Ward was just grabbing he's a dirty fighter or he was just wrestling no. if you look at this fight and you watch the fight, you'll see that Sergei Kovalev was the one instigating most of the clinchers in this fight. And I know I'm going to have people going, oh, 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 it's Andre Ward's the one who was grabbing. Ah. But no, if you watch the fight, you'll see that Sergei Kovalev was the one who was instigating the clinchers. And Andre Ward was the one punching out of the clinchers. That's what Andre Ward does when he's tied up. Like we've seen it in the past, when Andre Ward is tied up by the other guy, then um, he punches out of the clinchers. He did it against Carl Froch. If you watch that fight, when Carl Froch was tying him up on the inside. So, yeah, in this fight, I think Sergei Kovalev is going to need to punish Andre Ward on the inside if he can. Because according to Andre Ward, Sergei Kovalev has no inside game. And from the first fight, he didn't really look like he had much of an inside game. Fighters from Eastern European Eastern European fighters don't tend to be really great inside fighters. And it showed in the first fight. So hopefully John David Jackson, Sergei Kovalev's trainer, has told him that he needs to really punish Andre Ward on the inside. And he needs to hurt Andre Ward to the body. He needs to take Andre Ward's legs away because that's what he needs to do. He needs to take Andre Ward's legs away. Because if he allows Andre Ward to move and got on his bike and pop shot him from range and from distance, then Andre Ward's just going to steal rounds because that's what Andre Ward does. He does maths in there, Andre Ward. He's there, he's calculating, he's scoring, and he knows what he needs to do to nick a round. That's what Andre Ward does. This is a guy with a very high IQ in terms of boxing. So Sergei Kovalev really needs to take Andre Ward's legs away. He needs to break. Andre Ward down to the body in this fight because if Andre Ward can't move well if he can't move as well because Sergei Kovalev is breaking him down and tiring him then Sergei Kovalev is going to have a lot more success and he's going to be able to land the big shots and try to take Andre Ward out like he's saying he's going to do Andre Ward in this fight I think he needs to start off a little bit better on Jay Ward, he can't allow Sergei Kovalev to come out and dominate him early on. He needs to really try and make it his fight, try and control the pace because Andre Ward, like a Floyd Mayweather and a Bernard Hopkins, 
he's very good at slowing the pace down of a fight and he needs to slide and slow the pace down and try and make it his fight even if it's a stinker Andre Ward will need to do that in terms of getting his own success off and getting the rounds he needs to slow the pace down he can't allow Sergei Guy Kovalev to come out like a bull in a china shop and start attacking him and hurting him because then he's going to be in trouble he needs to go in there and try and control the fight from the first few rounds because if he starts off late again and Sergei Kovalev has the early rounds in the bag and then Andre Ward has the later rounds then we're just going to have the same as the first fight we're going to have a close decision and we're going to have people disputing it in my opinion whoever they need to come out in this fight really and someone needs to grab the ball by the horns and really needs to take control of this fight somebody needs to take control but saying that both guys are very elite and both guys can make the fight competitive but there has to be a clear winner in this fight because it can't have more controversy we won't see a trilogy match in this fight we won't see a third rubber match so yeah we really need a convincing win off my prediction I'm going to go with Andre Ward 12 round unanimous decision but I don't think he's going to win it by a massive margin I think Andre Ward will win this fight by 8 rounds to 4 3 or 4 rounds even and yeah I think that Andre Ward will adjust to Sergei Kovalev earlier in the fight and I think he'll win it by a couple more rounds this time around and make it more convincing I don't think it'll be a shutout or anything like that but if Andre Ward manages to rally the storm of the early rounds from Sergei Kovalev and slow the pace down and control the fight from his pace then I think Andre Ward will win the fight by three or four rounds and that's what I'm going to go by so yeah comment below your opinion on this it's JM it's Speedboxing